I'm still standing better than I ever did Looking like a true survivor Feeling like a little kid Yeah, I'm still standing after all this time Elton John, I'm still standing. A little rough there at the end. <laughs> Some of these songs I sing, I have sung many times before, but uh, this is not one of them, so a little rough. Anyways, it's Laura T at Dream Deals 123 on eBay, Silver Owl Thrifter on YouTube. I made $40 overnight. Let's break it down and see what is profit and then I'll do a haul video uh, not, yeah I'll talk about we'll do a little, little work with me like I did yesterday I like doing that I feel like I'm really giving you guys uh you know exactly kind of how I price things and figure out the pricing yeah basically the pricing which is one of the hardest things to do I think but it probably, maybe I make it harder than it is. You know, I give so many, everything sells on a bust offer or offer to watch or something. So even if you just put sort of a general price down there, you might even be a little bit higher than other people, but maybe you'll make the sale because somebody sent you an offer and you took it. So, but having the competitive price is pretty important these days too. Okay, I'm just... What am I doing here? Okay, so sold my eBay selling. And man, one sale. This my is my daughter cleaned out her closet. And uh, she had a couple of really good pieces in there. And I'm going to give her the money for this. So um, this is English factory dress, large green, white, gingham, ruffle tier, peasant cottage core. Just listed it, sold within a couple of days. An offer to watch her, $29.99, and they paid shipping. So it was $40, and uh, after fees and uh, shipping and everything, she'll probably get about $25, $28 for this, $28. And as usual, I forgot to write this down. So it's uh, $40 net. A gross and 28. Oh, you know what? That's right. I'm not going to add this to my total because this is just going to my daughter. So let's not worry about that so much. Um, all right. What else is going on? Watch the Barbie movie last night. It's so good. You guys got to watch it. Very funny. Ryan Gosling as Ken is just perfect. <laughs> He's very funny. Very talented. My daughter told me he used to be on the Musketeers. So he's really good at dancing. Um, and of course there's Barbie core now. So rent the movie and call it a tax write off. <laughs> you could, you know, it's all, it's, it's, it's uh, education. Um, I'm not a tax advisor. My husband is always kind of telling me things I forget to say. I'm not a tax advisor. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but I do stuff, you know, I mean, I think we can, uh, I was listening to somebody the other day talking about the peptide therapy and he was saying that there is not a whole lot of human testing done, done on it, but he talked about anecdata. He said anecdotal uh, data is very positive towards it. So I hadn't heard that before, anecdata. I mean, I like anecdata. I like hearing what real people experience. I do understand there is placebo effects on things. Um, I don't think I've ever experienced placebo effect, but I don't know. Who knows? It's hard to tell. Um, yes, okay, Ryan Gosling, da 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 da. Um, what is this warning? Oh, 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 yes, my son-in-law's dad, they're still waiting on an MRI. He had a stroke, and they're going to see what to do. They might do something called gluing the brain bleed, going through the groin vein. So we're still waiting on that, but he's doing okay. He's walking, he's got his all his senses and everything, so that's good. I don't know why it takes so long. He had the stroke two days ago, but I don't know much about it, but I wish they would... 
well, take your time, I guess, and do it right, but um, it seems like that's a long time. Um, okay. Big Yumbo and, or Caleb Resells, who's a really good clothing reseller, is interviewing Big Yumbo. Big Yumbo is very good, and he's been doing a lot more videos lately, so I'm enjoying that. So look for Caleb Resells in the Big Yumbo interview. Um, they're both very good. Um, here's a question for you. I was listening to Nate Land, as is my weekly habit. And there is a comedian, there's a bunch of comedians who sit around and talk. And they pick a topic and then they don't, they talk about it or they talk about it and say all kinds of wrong things about it. But anyways, they were talking and Dusty Slay, who is a self-proclaimed probably hillbilly uh, redneck. <laughs> Can you say those words? Uh <laughs> And he was talking and nobody caught it, but I'm going to write in because I've written into them before. And then sometimes they read your comments on the air. So I'm going to write in about this. He was talking about something he said. It was like, and khakis are dress pants. Khakis aren't dress pants, are they? Khakis are more casual pants. But I think it's just funny that he, as a self-proclaimed redneck, thinks khakis are dress pants. I don't know. I'm trying to think of something silly to say about it. I wouldn't consider khakis dress pants, right? They're casual. I think of, for me, a dress pant is, you know, something that you would wear with a suit and tie, perhaps. I guess chinos, chinos. Would you consider chinos dress pants? He doesn't know what chinos are. So what chinos is, is exactly what he said. I don't know what chinos is. Uh, so maybe it's just a guy thing. I don't know. Anyways, put in the comments below. Do you consider khakis dress pants? Do you consider chinos dress pants? Although, I, maybe chinos, a nice pair of chinos could be considered casual dress pants. But my husband said casual day was the day at work, casual Friday, where they could wear khakis. These are the things I ponder, people. Um, okay, let's do a little bit of a haul or a listing together. What do I have from yesterday? I think I did that. All right, I think these are things I got for like a dollar at the, um, no, I think I got these at the Goodwill for about five dollars. Flex ballroom khakis. So let's see, and this is... Who is this? Who makes these flex ballroom? Oh yeah, Duluth Trading Company. So that's a pretty good brand. And khaki, flex ballroom khakis. Yeah, here we're talking about khakis. These are khakis. These are not dress pants. They say ballroom. I guess if you're, if you're at a ball, that's pretty. <laughs> Fancy flex ball room khakis pants. And the size is, let's see if it's good. The size is 3430. Okay, there's 718. Let's narrow that down. 3430. And let's also put in the word. Are these cargo? I don't think they're cargo. They do have a side pocket there, though. There, there, though. But they don't have the big like cargo packet pockets. All right, thirty-four, thirty. Let's go to used two hundred and ninety-one. Of course, and these are. Uh, I guess we would call these beige. 287. And of course, the beige, they have everything up there, lots of blue. So let's see what sold. Why do they consider beige, blue beige? What was that, like 290? Two sold, so not very good. But again, like this one here looks exactly like mine, and it looks like it sold for 3430. So
yeah, flex ballroom khakis, 34, 32, but, um, so they, these sold for 25 plus nine shipping. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 25 plus nine shipping. Uh, maybe I'm going to do 29, yeah, 899 shipping, 34. 34.30, so I'm just going to put the price down here and finish this later just to show you guys. I'll do 24.99 and then $8 shipping, that's fine. Save for later. We'll see what happens. So even though there was like, if I just had glanced at that, I really am starting to go more and more on just my knowledge of things that have been selling for me. Here's another one that sold for 24 with free shipping. Another one, different sizes, 16 plus $8. Best on debt. Here's a duly 3430 that sold for. See, here's a 3430 that didn't come up until after I did this listing. And then I'm looking at it, 3430, 950 plus $5 shipping. And that's a best offer, 2495 best offer. So, so I would say these ones that sold for 950, I'm just going to look at them. Sometimes I like to look and see, well, why is there such a big difference there? Is there a, a, um, a flaw? Has a small stain on the front. Okay. So yeah, and it's, it's a pretty decent stain, so that's why. So I think $25 for these plus shipping is a good place to start. Yeah, a lot of these have sold, so you've got to just kind of browse the sold, browse them, don't just look at those numbers, browse and see what they're calling, you, you know, what they consider a, a uh, khaki pants or whatever here because a great a beige khaki pants there's a whole bunch of blue in here so you know what I mean um okay let's take it how are we doing with 12 minutes yeah this is good let's try another khaki pants these are khaki cargos Levi's Levi's 3132 cargo 31, 32, cargo, khakis, men's pants. Let's see what we get. Uh, 30, I should put 30. Yeah, I did put 31, 32. All right. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, well, it says 67 sold, but believe me, there's only... Okay, I'm going to go 31. I'm going to put in, go on the side here and really narrow this down. 31, 32. Now there's 12. And you have to look at the, the first one. Sometimes they're sponsored. And the sponsored has nothing to do with this. They gave a, they have a digital camouflage chino as the first one up here. They've got maroon, burgundy, red, got green. There's nothing... There's one that's like this uh, out of the 12 listed one is uh now these do have a tiny little spot there that I could not get out I did try that I used for the first time it's a spray wash that comes from the dollar store that everybody is a lot of people have been raving about I don't know it didn't work very well on this one let's try it on something else I gotta just order my oxyclean I usually have good with that okay so and then just scrolling through here see anything sold but um I think cargo pants gray $9.99 plus $9 shipping cargo pants 31 32 22 horse brand I don't know what that means 
24 plus nine dollars shipping another thing i can do is just go cargo pants in this size and see in general because there might be some guy who wants cargo pants like if my husband wants cargo pants he's not going to necessarily go for levi's so it says there's Again, these are all different, but pretty much like 32 sold out of 42 listed. Okay, that's interesting, right? Because it means general, these sizes, and again, not all these listed are, I think these have a good chance of selling for about 25 bucks. So I'm going to khaki loose pants here. Yeah. But I might, um, I think 25 even with that tiny little spot might be okay. We will see. So I'm just going to put Save it for later, and then I'll go tweak these. And that's this. I think I got this at that fundraiser for the cats, and it was just um, like 50 cents. It's stuffed shirt. It's kind of a cropped, almost plaid snap stuffed shirt. I don't really know anything about this one. Shirt, plaid, plaid snaps. And it looks very vintagey if you look at the tag. Cotton madras. Yeah, so I could put. All right, there's nothing in there when I put plaid snap. So stuffed shirt. I just see what it says for stuffed shirt. Now, all kinds of stuff comes. Okay. Stuffed shirt, jeans, wear vintage, high-waisted, colorful shorts, $22. Here's a denim trencher for $59. Okay, so this might be actually a vintage. Yeah, I'm going to put the word vintage in there. Because 35,000 things come up when I put stuffed shirt. Vintage stuffed shirt, madras. Madras is a good keyword, and it's a good... Okay, look at this. Excellent, vent. it's a patchwork shirt, just like this. And it's sold, it's listed for 38 plus $8 shipping. J. Crew Madras, a Madras shirt by J. Crew is going for 99 so. This isn't J. Crew. Brooks Brothers Madras. So there's not a lot of these stuffed shirt items out there. Let me just see. Vintage stuffed shirt. I've got Vantage. Vantage. Are you crazy? Nothing Vantage out there. Nothing Vantage about it. Oh, a bunch of plushies come up. Okay, dead rare dead stock stuffed shirt brand floral jeans, 75. Okay, so I think we can agree that stuffed shirt is a bolo. Vintage stuffed shirt stuff. Vintage stuffed shirt stuff. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of random stuff here. Here's a one for eleven fifty. It was twenty two ninety nine, but it's kind of not a very pretty shirt. I think this Madras shirt will. See if I can get this a little bit narrowed down because I got like 4,000 listed. Well, I'll do a little more of this. I might try and find a uh, some kind of Madras shirt to clean, but I'm thinking twenty-five, maybe or something like that for this. What is this? What is this? Again, I think this is something I got 
Yeah, this might have been at the thrift store. Airy, extra large. Jogger, cargo joggers. They look kind of worn uh, or faded a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes I ask myself when I get back, why did you do that? Well, let's see. Airy, cargo joggers, XL women. Let's see what comes up. 99, 18, 18, 19, just glancing, 19 plus $10 shipping, 22. Ones that look like this. Okay, let's see what the sell through is. So 77, let's go to extra large. So it's all extra large and that brings it to 26. And this is kind of like a, some of these colors are like a gray. Well, let's just see what 26. And let's see how many sold. One. <laughs> it was on auction for $7.50, two bids, plus $8.30 shipping. And then underneath it, $10, $15 plus shipping. I don't know. This one looks pretty saturated. Um, so I'll go back to the unsold, narrow it down a little more to gray, cargo joggers, oh, there's 26, but see, they're not, they're all, oh, I see, they are, but they're like gray, uh, fleecy. There aren't too many. Going for like $20 free ship. I overpaid for these. I probably paid. I had maybe these were half price. Maybe I just paid $3. Airy khaki joggers. No, let's see. Airy gray. Airy khaki joggers. All right. I'm just going to use these. Start with these and probably, I think I go about $17.99 plus shipping to start. But since it's pretty saturated, I would probably take take 10 bucks for these maybe I don't know um that would be like six dollars shipping we'll save that for later all right let's do one more one more something interesting all right this this is kind of like a, one I need to do a little research on okay I was looking at jackets and I saw the denim and then this Oh, Sherpa kind of stuff. And this is, uh, the brand is Wonder Nation, which I don't, I, I have never, I don't think I've ever bought it before. XL 1416 Husky. So this is a, a, a boy's, uh, but it was just $2.99. And so I did, a, let's see, see what this is worth. And it's in nice condition and it actually fit me this kids extra large and this is nice I don't think I need I don't know though <laughs> it's pretty nice so it's like a woman's large um which I will put in there <coughs> I'll put <clears throat> something like fits women large so let's see wonder nation Denim, uh, lined jean jacket. Let's see what we got here. This one for sixteen and eight dollars shipping. Yeah, Sherpa. They spelled Sherpa Shipra. 
zipper line, zipper line, 24. Let's put the price, the uh, size in. Let's go XL Husky. 12. 29.99 free ship, 9.99 and 10 dollars shipping, 26 and 12 shipping. Well, let's see. There's a lot here, but they're again like it's size eight, everything. Let's see how many are sold. It's not, uh, yeah, zero. <laughs> Wonder Nation, something else. Okay, so this is zero, but here's one $29.95, but I think that's a adult. So it looked like there were quite a few of these listed. But again, yeah, it looks like there's one exactly like this, except it's not, I don't think it's a husky. And that's $29.99. And the rest under here are not, let me see if I can really narrow this down. Three. None, none listed in mine. So I think I'm gonna go with about 20 dollars plus shipping to start. Yeah, because it's husky, so it's and I'm gonna put in there that it would fit a woman, and I will just keep it if for a while and and, and maybe keep it if I don't sell it. I gotta stop keeping stuff though because um, I don't have. Uh, oh, this one was brand new, never worn. Eh, the one for twenty nine ninety nine. Well, yeah, I think I'll figure it out. But I may list it for um, probably start it more at nineteen ninety nine because it is used. And it looks like, and it's not the season really. Well, kind of. This would be nice for spring. All right, I think that's it. Um, I'm feeling good. And, and oh, did I tell you my husband had the shots yesterday in his knees, the peptide shots? And he's feeling much better, too. Um, his is, a, you know, everything's mine was bursitis, the bursas, and his is more like needs to grow cartilage back, which the doctor said that it will, his cartilage will grow back. It's just gonna take a little time. He said, now that this got these peptides, that'll help encourage that to grow. Oops. So, you, you know, uh, I won't get into it, but <laughs> we're very happy with the results. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.